Dobroveče, dragi plesači. Večera smo na Božićnoj Božićnom izdanju Milonge Inspiracion u Tango Naturalu bilo je predivno i razgovaramo sa DJ Frančeskom koji je puštao večeras muziku So we will speak now in English Hello dear Francesco Dobroveče, you know some words A little Tell me something about your tango experience in Belgrade You are not here for the first time Yes, I'm not here for the first time Uh as first time I came here to DJ uh, 2018, I believe, for the Belgrade Tango Encuentro. And uh, my first time was an international experience, in a way. I didn't meet as many people of the local community as the international community. And it was uh, a very big festival. Yes, we know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was our uh, favorite festival, I yes. You do. I bet you do. And uh, I had a great time. I had a great time with like people that I knew from, uh, from Germany, where I live. I live in Berlin. And from Italy, because I'm Italian, so I know also like some people from Italy. And... Uh, all over Europe, mainly. And how uh, did you start to? How did you decide to to dance tango, for example? Okay. Um, complicated question. No, 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 no. It's not very complicated. Um, it was 2006, I believe. I was attending to university in Udine, my hometown in Italy, northeast of Italy, and uh, I decided with my girlfriend of that time. Um, to do something together. At that time, I was still practicing martial arts, and uh, I found myself a flyer of uh, Tango Argentino in Udine. Uh, I don't know if you know the school, like the Zo uh, of Udine, and uh, we started uh, doing uh, tango classes together. It is and it was like a small community, now it, uh, it changed a lot uh, and it became much bigger than it was before. And at that time I remember that we were doing like one class per week and one milonga per month or something like this. So yeah, that was my beginning. So you, you needed a lot of patience in that time because one at class time, in a yes. week. At that it's time, yes, it's yes, not yes, too yes, much, yes. yeah. But it was not my my main focus at that time. As I said, like I was practicing also martial arts and I was doing also competitions. So it was more of a hobby. Yeah. And then how did you decide to, to be a DJ? I moved to Berlin in 2010. And uh, when I moved there, I decided to um, focus more on tango. Taking and how is tango seen in Berlin? Uh, <laughs> nowadays, I believe that we have uh, pre-corona and after-corona <laughs> situations. Um, it's big. There are like many big schools, there are many milongas every day. And uh, back then I decided to attend to classes every day at the school that is uh, still there, even after COVID. And um, its name is Malahunta. And I decided to attend uh, to classes every day, as I said, and that lasted for a couple of years. And uh, my first DJ set was at a milonga that I decided to organize with a friend of mine. Nice. Yes. Nice. So I, uh, I follow your page and I see that you're very busy, very famous DJ and that you are traveling a lot and doing a lot of nice um, uh, milongas everywhere. And also I um, um, am aware of the fact that you are also instructor. 
Yeah. So you are teaching tango here in Belgrade with Sonia, uh, also in Berlin probably and other cities. Yes. So for uh, me, it's a great honor to finally meet Thank you. you very much. And we had a nice. really nice time tonight at um, your milonga. And uh, as you are now visiting Belgrade very often, um, we will see you, I hope, uh, also um, uh, for Belgrade Tango Encuentro 2023. Of course. Of course. Yes, you will probably will be, be a DJ. Yes. Yes. So um, thank you very much for this conversation. And I hope we will speak uh, next time uh, um, a little bit more about uh, your experience here in Belgrade and maybe some private things. Um, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, hvala puno na Grazie. pažnji i vidimo se opet nekom sljedećom prilikom. Dankeschön. Ciao.